<laughs> She's gonna be a Guido. In the oh tent. boy. <laughs> She's fist pumping already. <laughs> Good morning, population. So, I'm actually on the way to work now. It's been a while since I did the vlogging while driving thing, but uh, I don't like to vlog while holding a camera anymore, so, I mean, this is this is fine, because this is in a, it's in a, like a, it's attached to my car. I'm not holding it at all. So, I'm on the way to work. It's kind of drizzling a little bit, cloudy. Heat wave is gone. You know, it's been like 100 degrees past couple days. Um, today is supposed to be like high in the mid 80s, so back to normal temperatures, basically. I can't wait for the weekend. So after today, I got one more day, and then the weekend's here. Saturday, I have to go to a party, my uh, father-in-law's birthday party, which should be fine. And then. Um, so today is the first day that there's no guests coming. Nobody during the day, nobody at night to visit Sophia. I mean, I appreciate everybody coming over and, you know, visiting my daughter, but, you know, it gets tiring after a while when you have, you know, like, somebody coming, you know, a couple different people coming each day and all that, but it's cool. Oh, we actually got the pediatrician tonight. Just a simple weight check. Like, if she's fine, which probably will be, we're just weighing and then leaving, so shouldn't be a long thing or anything. That's at 7.20 tonight. Oh, my God. So I, like, snoozed the hell out of my alarm clock this morning. I put the alarm on for 6 o'clock. I snoozed that shit all the way to 6.50. <laughs> I had to leave it. 7.30, which is like 7.30 now, so I just left. Yep. So it was fun last night. Uh, I had my brother and sister-in-law come over with their kids, and uh, we asked my brother and sister-in-law to be godparents for Sophia, and they were very happy about it, and they accepted, obviously, and it was cool. The kids uh, were excited to see Sophia, to meet their new cousin, because they don't have any cousins that live with us, like in the same state or close to us. They live, you know, an hour away or over an hour away, their other cousins. So they finally have a cousin that lives close by. That's cool. Now hopefully when my other brother gets married at the end of this year, hopefully he has a kid quickly. And then uh, there'll be a, three families of cousins close by. That'd be cool. Sophia to have some, you know, close-aged cousins. That'd be fun. I'm gonna put my wipers on, because the rain is really picking up now. Oh my god. Oh, that's good. I passed my turn. <laughs> that doesn't matter. There's another turn up here. Grow in Christ's love. That's what I always say. Oh, wait, no. Uh, oh, yeah, I did pass the turn. Wait, did I? Yes, I did. Why am I so confused? I did pass the turn, but this is fine. This is right here. Blase, blase. And we also need a grocery shopping, which Liz was supposed to go tonight while I watched Sophia. But I think we both forgot the pediatrician thing, so probably tomorrow for the grocery shopping. Weird lifestyle change, you know? We're used to just picking up and going anywhere we want, you know, not thinking about anything going together. Now we have to split up a lot of times. You know, like I have to stay home, watch Sophia while she goes out to grocery shop, and obviously we can go together to the pediatrician because the baby's coming. You know, eventually it'll get better, I guess, because we'll be able to bring the baby anywhere. But right now it's kind of like you don't want to bring the baby in, like, huge crowds and stuff like that. Plus she could be a pain in the butt. She's hungry every two hours, and she poops. She's a great little baby, though. I love that baby so much. Alright, let me finish going to work. 
this is a kind of a long intro here, huh? This might be most of the vlog right here. All right, I'll catch you guys after work. I'll see you later. Those are the doof. Those are the doof. She's hungry, and that's Lulu. She's probably hungry. Liz is getting food for her so I could feed her while catching up on YouTube, drinking coffee, looking at flowers, sitting on the couch, sitting next to a bag of popcorn, waiting to go to the pediatrician. So we're going to the pediatrician and our appointment's in an hour and um, they're going to weigh her. Last time, a week ago, she weighed Oh wow, seven pounds, nine ounces. So we'll see how much she gained in a week. I think what she was saying, she should gain like an ounce a day. So she should be close to eight pounds or eight pounds, something like that. So we'll see how that goes. Should be just an in and out thing. Um, she's definitely eating, you know, she's freaking eating all the time. Liz is changing the diaper right now. Oh yeah, that's, I love French roast coffee. That's my new favorite type of coffee, French roast. Nice and strong. And we're on the way to the pediatrician. Hey Liz. Hey. What's going on? Not much. How you doing today? Okay. How's home life with no guests today? It was nice. It was nice? Yeah. So what do you think the pediatrician's gonna say? I think she's gonna be like eight pounds. Eight, yeah, say so eight or eight two. Two seasons is a lot, but so foot. She's zoning out. I don't know. What is she doing? She doesn't like the doctors, does she? No. She doesn't like the doctors. Just got back from the pediatrician, and when I say she was seven pounds nine ounces a week ago. Today she's eight pounds, two ounces. Wait, no, eight pounds, three ounces. If she gained 10 pounds in a week, I mean, whew, not 10 pounds, <laughs> 10 ounces. So that's pretty cool. So she's exactly where she should be, perfectly. And I'm gonna change and feed her. Sophia just ate, and we think she has some gas. She just gave her medicine. It was grape flavored. I don't think she liked it. But she's just chilling out now. Making cute sounds. So what happened to the doctors? Today? Um, she gained 10 ounces in a week. Wow. That's good, right? That's it is good. She said uh, she's in the 50th percentile right. of weight gain, so she's perfect. Yep. Perfect baby. <laughs> a little bit more than I expected, because it's more than an ounce a day. <laughs> but think about how much more we're feeding her now than when we first brought her home. Oof. When we first brought her home, we were only feeding her when like. She would let us know she was hungry. Uh-huh. Probably at least double what we used to feed. Oh, probably. Like, like how many times a day? Mm-hmm. She's going to be a guido. In the oh, club. boy. She's fist pumping already. In about 18 years, she'll be doing that at karma. No. 21 years. It is. She'll be doing that at karma. What is this? Oh, she's got it's a limp. <laughs> Stretching the thing. Sleepy baby. Shall we go watch some YouTube? Yeah. Or are you too tired? I'm pretty tired. But I have to edit. Hmm. Have pretty to tired. Edit. What time is it? Like 12.30, midnight. I think that says 9.08. Oh, you forgot the blackout, though. That's a battery-operated analog clock. Wait, is that analog? No. 
Yeah. Are you now analogs with the numbers, right? I, I don't know. We, we get the point. <laughs> get the point that he's exaggerating and that he's not even 30 years old and he's tired at 9, 10. Well, I'm dad now, so... I'm supposed to be tired mm. early. <laughs> Thanks for watching. See you tomorrow. Baby mouth out.